ABC 15 investigators are back digging deeper into how the city of Phoenix investigates discrimination inside the police department. Our senior investigator, Melissa Blasius, just broke a major report about this woman's fight with Phoenix. Her name is Amy Breitzman. She's a Phoenix commander, a police commander, and she claims the city investigator found she was subjected to a hostile work environment, but later said the city legal department wanted her to change the results. So now the big question, is this an isolated situation? Or has Phoenix done this before? ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscoping is here, and Dave has records that allege the city cut a deal with the top official to switch the findings in another discrimination case. If you watch us regularly, you know we don't stop looking into things. A year ago, we broke the story about an assistant chief accused of ignoring one top cop call another a racial slur. Now, because of Melissa's story, we checked back into that case, and you're about to see what we found. Buried as an exhibit in federal court records, we found this sworn declaration given by a Phoenix police commander. It was filed in an unrelated lawsuit, but one that involves allegations of uneven discipline inside Phoenix PD. And under the penalty of perjury, that commander said, quote, I learned that now former executive assistant chief Mike Kurtenbach had entered into a written settlement agreement with the city. Under the settlement agreement, Kurtenbach agreed to retire from the city, and the city agreed to change an investigative finding by the Equal Opportunity Department that he tolerated discriminatory misconduct by his subordinates, from substantiated to unsubstantiated, without any changes to the underlying facts. Now this is Michael Kurtenbach. He retired as Phoenix PD's number two in command. And we got a copy of that settlement slash separation agreement with the city. But before we get to that, first, here's more from the story we broke last May. Report from the ABC 15 investigators. Take a look at these two men. They were assistant chiefs at the top of Phoenix PD, running critical areas of the department. Tonight, they're the focus of our story. An internal city discrimination investigation found one of them using a racial slur against a black officer and the other not reporting what happened. In our report last year, we showed a copy of that discrimination investigation. It was personally signed by the EOD director. It was titled Final Investigative Report, and it concluded Kurtenbach was present for the racial slur, but he didn't report it. The finding, untimely, but would otherwise be substantiated. In other words, too much time had passed since the incident, so officially there could be no policy violation. But EOD investigators found the allegation to be true. And here's how Kurtenbach responded to our story last year. He's hired a lawyer and threatened to sue ABC 15 over this report. Through a state spokesperson and his lawyer, Kurtenbach says, he has not been found in violation of any policies, and the EOD report in our story was a, quote, draft document. Now let's get back to the settlement agreement that Kurtenbach made with the city when he retired. It said the allegations involving Kurtenbach that are untimely will be closed as unsubstantiated. It also said the city would close all other open city investigations as unresolved. That settlement agreement was signed by Kurtenbach, police chief Michael Sullivan, city human resources, and the city law department. Okay, now, we know this can all get a little complicated, hard to understand. Just look at the new statement Kurtenbach's attorney sent us. It's long, but it confirms what you just saw. That settlement agreement is real. The statement also gave this explanation. Since Kurtenbach was leaving, he couldn't go through the full review appeal process. So, quote, the agreement was appropriate due to the compressed timelines related to his new employment opportunity. It also says he categorically denies any allegation that he engaged in or otherwise tolerated discriminatory behavior. Like we said, it's complicated, messy. Now, Phoenix is declining to comment, but we're going to keep investigating to see if there's a pattern of top city leaders changing the findings of discrimination investigations. So if you've got information for us, for Melissa or for me, let us know. Our emails are right there on the screen. For now, I'm Investigator Dave Biscoving, ABC 15, Arizona.